Hey there everyone, today we're going to start in on the final episode, the final episode of the main game anyway, episode 6, the final clash, before we move on to the uh, lettered episodes, and here I am once again holding my controller even though I use the keyboard to control this game. Now before we get started talking about Pezrock, I have an announcement to make, uh, your friend and mine, Brian Sulphur, has finally joined the Twitters, so uh, if you have not joined Twitter yet, uh, you should have at least joined it for me by now, but uh... Maybe having Bryce Sulf on board will get you there if you're not there yet. And it has been a particularly good month for people I really like. Ugh, that was stupid. It has been a really good month for people I really like in signing up for Twitter. Finally taking the plunge, giving in, and doing it. I totally ran that right. This is really starting off inauspiciously and sucking. And this is like the easiest of the three worlds in this episode. Not even enough to give me a refill. That... That just blows big old donkey chunks. Well, anyway, we should be able to make some sort of recovery. But yeah, for those of you who have been uh, subscribed to me since since days of yore, by which I mean 2008, Patton 520 if that's a name you remember, he also recently got on Twitter. And uh, I think he's digging it. Finally, after months and months of pressuring, I finally got him to do it. And I don't know if me being on there had anything to do with Brysolf joining, but I like to think it, it did. Because I like to think that everything I do carries some weight in the world. Here we go. This should be a, a pretty good shortcut, if nothing else. Okay. Yeah, da, 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 da. Wow, wow. These uh, these carrots are coming in really handy because I'm a stupid asshole. Oh my god. We can actually sit here and destroy these things if we want to. But we don't have... Well, we have some rapid fire, but we don't have enough to just justify sitting there yet. And just plowing into one of those things. Oh wow, yay. Going really fast counterclockwise. They are really nasty with their setup. and I don't want to die too early here, but uh, it could end up happening. We should save our uh, unceremonious deaths for later, more difficult worlds around here, though. There we go. In fact, we're never going to be back at this point anyway, so why don't we just go ahead... Yeah, okay. You want to be very... As with most of these late worlds, you want to be very careful going forward in Pezrock, because... There is tons of stuff that is just tripping you up, waiting to spawn in a really nasty place. Not as nasty in this world as in the next. I don't want to hype up future installments too much. Nothing over there. Why did I make that big old jump anyway? So let's go. Hey, already a checkpoint. Dang. We are cooking at a reasonably decent rate here, actually. So if we can uh, keep going like this... We might actually knock out Pezrock pretty quickly, which is fine with me because there are way better worlds to be exploring around here. Let's see if, uh, I feel like there's, uh, enemies that should be spawning somewhere around here, but just the one? Okay, that's cool too, I guess. Oh, hey, maybe we should, uh, take a trip downtown first. Anything useful? Oh, just little tiny stars. Okay, those snakes move really fast and can really trip you up. And by you, I mean me, because I don't really pay attention to obstacles that well. Okay, up, up and out of here. Okay, these springs, they're cool. These aren't the ones like in Technoir that just go back and forth and back and forth and spawn in really terrible spots. They just follow you back and forth basically like Boo's. It's like if Boo was a springboard. That's how this would uh, turn out. Uh, we want to get you as far over. Yeah, there are the ones that didn't spawn earlier. There we go. Let's just wait for these guys to come. Let's just send a little stream of bullets. Boy, not quite rapid fire yet, huh? <laughs> Dumber than advertised. Okay, don't want to jump up in the spikes. That's that's a, that's getting a little crazy, I think. Don't want to drink too much of the crazy juice just yet. We want to be really careful and save as much energy as we can for, like, if we encounter, like, those spike balls or something. Or if we want to just... I think if we go up the way here, I think there's something... Where is it? There's an invincibility somewhere around here. It's not quite here yet, I don't think. There's some point where we'll get an invincibility and we'll be able to careen across the spikes. I do believe it's here. can actually reach this with a single jump. There we go. Now we can start tearing. Yes. Okay. There we go. Get it going. Get it moving. Clear out as many of these guys as we can. You know what, it doesn't really matter if there were items at the top. I'm not too concerned about it anyway. I do want to be really careful, though, because I think we're at the end of the level. 
Yep, sure are, because there are a few toasters right here worth picking up. Oh, even more toasters worth picking up. All right, hey, hey, hey. Now we just pop through. Ooh, 59. That is failing by school standards, I do believe. Just barely got a C on enemy killing. But at this point, I'm really just interested in getting through levels. Okay, I think I can make this jump from here. But I gotta start shooting because, yeah, they put those rocket clams in a weird spot. I think they're clams. I used to think they were like flying saucers. And then one day I saw those really weird wavy lip ridges on them. So I'm like, are they like weird alien clams or something? That's the only conclusion I can really draw. They don't look very much like clams. They just really look like enemies with really stupid grins on their faces. But, yeah, they do like to just spawn wherever and whenever, so... I feel like the cat is in the jewelry box for some weird reason, if you heard that little tinkle just then. Boy. Can't keep anyone out of that thing. The cat, the baby, nobody. Who will listen to me in this house? No one, I don't believe. I do don't. Do a thing. Do a diddy diddy down diddy do. Wow. Surprisingly, no enemies, and so open a spot. I'm a little shocked, actually. Okay, yeah, we want to get down and away from that thing. Okay. Kind of a tough set of jumps, actually, if you don't know where the spiked balls are spawning. And if we get some rapid fire going here, I think we'll probably get quite a few in this level. Enough to get near maximum, if not right at it. Let's just go ahead and uh, get an invincibility first because there's these clam guys running around. And now, here we go. One up. Those are going to be few and far between, actually, uh, in this last world. So we need to find all the ones we can. Mostly probably going to be a result of bonus stages. So we need to find all the bonus stages we can. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. All right. That? Yee. Too rich for my blood. Let's try to find a different route through there. No, nothing? That's going to do it, isn't it? I'm going to have to go through there. Okay, well, I'm going to lose a little something anyway. Okay, let's see if I can position myself perfectly and not get hit. <laughs> Tight fit. Yikes. Holy crap. All right, and checkpoint. All right, man, we are making really good progress here through uh, Mr. Pezrock. This might be one of those levels, again, where the airboard glitches and I get to keep it forever and ever, which would be... Which would be pretty cool. Let's see. Let's if I go this way. What is... Oh, God. Yeah, that's cool. Just have your back facing the enemy. Oh, wow. Inadvertently revealing secret passages. See, even enemies do nice things sometimes. Alright. Go through, go through, go through. I think I might lose my airboard if I go this way. So I might want to take an alternate route. Because there's something I want to show off toward the end of the level, but... Whoa! Okay, yeah, this might end up actually being dangerous, so I don't know if I really want to do this. Uh, well, it's working out pretty fine so far. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's just go out in the open where there are those clam guys running around, and let's have super speed! Okay, sure, that works out just fine. Is it... Do I still have it? I don't think I do, but the music is still uh, pretty fired up and fast and... Okay, yeah, I think it's gone now. Okay. Yeah, that was one of the more useless shoes, actually. This is a place where you want to be careful. Those things could spawn at any moment, probably from underneath you, so... <coughs> <coughs> Boo, excuse me. I'm actually kind of more congested than I was yesterday, cold-wise. In case you wanted a scratchy cold update, but I'm actually feeling weirdly enough better, even though I'm more congested than I was. Okay, yeah, this is uh, this is definitely, yeah. The, if the airboard hasn't gone away by now, it's not going away anytime soon. So, okay, get out of my face, stone platform. But yeah, sometimes I get the bad hacky coughs and my shoulders are stiff and I'm sore, but I'm good enough to be recording. I feel good enough. Feel good about it? Yep. Okay. And I think... Yeah, we're at the end of the level, because this is a really high wall right here. I missed something. I missed the bonus gym. And it should be a fairly easy one to get, too, so I really don't have any excuse. It's right here at the end. Right in this little narrow space. They usually give it some room to breathe, but for some reason they didn't there. 
One thing I do want to show off, because we're at the end of the level now, now that we have an airboard, we can actually go over the wall here. There is a uh, boundary here. Uh, we can just keep going out, and we'll probably slow down eventually. But if we go all the way to the bottom here, there's a pit. Pits don't really show up in Jazz Jackrabbit, but if I was to touch the bottom of the screen here, not only would I die, I don't want to lose two lives right here, not only would I die, but when I spawned at the checkpoint, I would die again. So, on the rare chance that you do run into pits, they're very glitchy, so you don't want to do it, especially if you only have four lives like me. Wow, I was not expecting 100% on item retrieval. That's pretty good for the... I'm going to go ahead and call it the final world. I don't care what anybody thinks. As far as I'm concerned, this is the final world. And those next three that we're going to be playing, they're just afterthoughts. And I don't really have any emotional attachment to them like I do the first six games. The first six episodes, that's the full game to me. Episodes A, B, and C, they're just icing on the cake. Now you want to be careful here because you can get stuck in this little glowing boundary. There are places where you can... There are places where you can actually enter that boundary and go out into the uh, plains area. At which point you will lose the bonus level behind you and not be able to get back. So you want to be really careful. There should be one near here. There should be a place somewhere in here where I can get inside the where I can get inside the line here. This is probably a primo spot right here. Yeah, see, you can actually get inside the boundary, and it's very tough to uh, if you lose your bearings, it can be very tough to get out. But yeah, you want to be very careful about going out in here because if you go in this plains area you can actually lose the bonus level and you won't really have much choice until the time runs out as far as as, as far as that goes I suppose there we go 25 gems extra life so we'll see y'all next time on the next planet which is a toughie